Hi, today I will cover identity map uh, design pattern. This identity map design pattern belongs to object relational behavioral patterns. And uh, this object relational behavioral patterns belongs to patterns of enterprise application architecture. First, you will see the explanation of identity map uh, design pattern. This is the explanation. Ensures that each object gets loaded only once by keeping every loaded object in a map. Lookups uh, object using the map when referring to them. Uh, we will see one example so that you will understand uh, this sentence. Here you can see uh, uh, three components a finder, an identity map, and a database. Uh, suppose, say uh, in a database, uh, there is a person table, and uh, the person table has uh, four columns ID, name, age and gender and uh, the first row represent uh, Joe person information and the second row represent uh, Goni person information uh, and uh, here uh, you can see identity identity map and uh, we will take person map as identity map initially uh, the map key and value is uh, null uh, it doesn't have any key value pair in the person map okay it's like a hash map or a linked hash map we can take anything uh, initially the hash map doesn't have anything okay uh, suppose uh, we want to get uh, this joe person object from the database so uh, the request comes to the finder so they are passing the primary key first the finder will check whether the person object is available in the identity map so in this case it will check in the person map that uh, with uh, the key one uh, there is no value is there so it won't found uh, uh, person information in the identity map so it will come here and it is not there in the identity map so it will check in the database so it will go to the database and it, it will return this uh, row as a result set uh, to the finder and the finder will formulate the person object and it will put the person object in the person map like this key equal to one person object equal to one so first thing uh, when request comes to the finder first it is checking in the identity map it is not there uh, so it will hit the database and get the person object and put it in the person map so second time request comes to the finder it will go and check the identity map so it will check uh, with the key person object is there yes it is there so it will return the person object this identity map will return the person object to the finder so in this case it won't the hit it won't hit the database again so for the second request third request fourth request fifth request and continuous request it won't hit the database okay the first request only it will hit the database usually the uh, database operations are costlier so in this way what we are doing is uh, that object we are putting in the map and we are avoiding data database hit so it will improve the performance okay so if you see this one we are improving the performance okay and uh, whenever you want object you check the identity map first to see if it is already have it so what we are doing is first we are checking in identity map it is there or not if it is not there only we are hitting the database and getting the value okay and identity map keeps record of all objects that have been read from the database in a single business transaction so identity map is nothing but a holder for the objects uh, only first request uh, the identity map, uh, map will have uh, empty values then uh, for the further request uh, we can get the value from the identity map because the previous request whatever we got we will put it in the map okay and uh, now if you read this sentence you will understand ensures that each object get loaded only once by keeping every loaded object in a map okay so what we are doing is uh, whatever is loaded in the database we are keeping in the map and further request uh, we are getting value from the or object from the map not hitting the database in this way we are improving the performance uh, this is about identity map uh, design pattern thanks for watching Bye.